Oh. Hi guys. Late as usual, but I have an excuse today because there's been some uh, snowing going on here. So traffic was really slow. Let me know if you can hear me, okay? Hi, Marie. So <clears throat> I'm multitasking. I uh, got stuck in traffic and now I'm eating and <laughs> filming and mixing paint at the same time. Ah, oh, great, Deborah, thanks. Hi, Kate. Oh, welcome. Your first time. Hi, Zeppy. So nice to have you here, Kate. Hi, Linda, good morning. I'm just gonna run off and get some water because I forgot. And I need to turn the heater off because it got cold in here. Turn the heater down so it doesn't make that much noise for you guys. Hi, Tana. Hi, Laurie. Yeah, I was a few minutes late today, so it's been crazy weather outside. Um, when I left home, because I haven't been at the studio all day today, uh, and when I left home, I forgot that uh, it had snowed, and then I <laughs> had to get all the snow off the car. And when I finally got out on the highway, things were crazy because everybody's out from work. And yeah, it was crazy. Hello, Deborah. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Santa Fe, right. Nice to have you with us. I hope you enjoy yourself tonight or today. I should say today for you guys. Don't mind me. I have food in my mouth. So I'm not even going to use this today because I was too late to even think. So I just pulled out colors and the old colors. I don't even know what I used. I think I used these and then this. And I just mixed them. So they're uh, not the original colors anymore. I just mixed the colors with each other. And we'll see what happens. Hi, Annie. Nice to see you. I hope you can see everything, guys, because I just... Ugh, things went crazy fast today. All right, so I have my black and my white there, too. And I haven't just on my page, so I'll do that first. I'm so glad you guys made it. <laughs> Waited for me. I was like thinking, oh, everybody's going to be thinking I'm not going to show up. Yeah, I use the largest brayer I could find. Better than no brayer, I guess. Okay, for you guys uh, who are new, I'm just gessoing my page because um, if I don't, it, the paint will just like leak through the page because this is only a regular sketchbook. The paper isn't that thick. So it needs a layer of gesso. Yeah, I think I'll just go over it with a brush. Try and get what I didn't catch. All right, it's not that bad, I guess. That'll work. Um, let's see. Maybe I have uh let me see. Is that better? That I think that would make it blurrier. Is that better? Let me know. 
And is it the right thing? Is everything the right way today? Because I tried testing it last week. Um, I think I have everything the way it's supposed to be. So my hand is like supposed to come in from the bottom. And then I guess if you're looking at the screen, my hand should be like on the left side now. Yeah, well, it's on autofocus, so it should be i uh... I'll try to just bring my hand up. Is that better? Good, Annie. All right. I'm just gonna pull out some uh, charcoal and stuff like that. I'll show you what I'm bringing out. So I just had this like tin with a whole bunch of like graphite, regular pencil actually. It's a, a Koh-i-Noor uh, Progresso pencil. More graphite, I have some more charcoal in here. I have some Neo colors and art graphs. <clears throat> Soft pastel, hard pastel. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. So, I'm just gonna start with something. And I think I'll start with these. Bring that back down. All right. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Okay? No thinking again, guys, right? Oh, that was like a crazy, crazy mark. And I'm gonna get a thin of pencil. Uh, I'm out of pencil, uh, brush of some kind. And I'm just gonna put water over these because these are like really pigmented. These are water-based, guys. I've probably used them before for most of you, but for those of you who are new. And I can like paint with them. So when I start painting, I usually don't think that much. I just make marks and I try and have fun. And that's what I plan on doing now too. So, and today I'm just feeling like, I just don't, I'm like kind of stressed uh, because of the traffic and stuff. So I guess my, my hands is gonna go crazy now, right? put in some white because I'm not like all in the right mindset, I think. So see what happens. Just holding it like really loose, the tip, to see what happens. And then I just turn that uh, brush right around. I'm just going to make some lines with it. See where it takes me. All right, let's see what else we want. Um, I have so many reds here. I don't know if I'm going to like this, but <laughs> we'll see. This turns really green. Oh, that's going to look nice with the... purple, red purplish color there. Oh, I like that. Isn't that nice? I like that green. Oh, I just wanted a bit brighter, lighter. Thanks guys. And thank you, Linda, for always thinking of that stuff. <laughs> just gonna make some random marks here and there. Not thinking, and I think I'm going to bring some of the red iron oxide because that's what I think this is. And I'm going to bring it over here, put some white in there. Yeah, that's red iron oxide. Yeah, it's kind of a, a different kind, a different red, right? It's like a brick red, or I love that color. It's 
putting some of it like darker pieces of it in here. And then I'm going to come in with some of that black into this light. Maybe a little bit more paint. And that's going to turn brown, I hope. Dark brown. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, me too. Just to have pulled like any, any old thing out of the bag. <laughs> Um, and I'm still working with the same brush, so I should actually uh, get another brush so that I have different marks here. But I'm kind of liking this. This is just a watercolor brush, actually. So it's quite kind of fun. Uh, let's see what else I have here that I could use. Um, I have a small scraper. Maybe I could use that. I use some of this, like, Red brown color. Still not thinking. Just hold around. I like that. I like the fullness of that. Uh, reddish brown color ah uh, thank you i don't know what to call you uh 0928 mar uh what do you want me to call you mar I, i'll call you mar <laughs> thank you mar <laughs> i'm glad you enjoy it i enjoy painting with you guys too so makes two of us then i'm just gonna come in with like pure white just because I want to, and I can. And it's gonna get all contaminated, but I don't care. Make some more of these crazy marks that I was making in the beginning. I love crazy marks. This one is gonna be wild, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Marlene, ah. Oh, well, I almost had it then. Marlene, I almost had it with the Mar at least. I didn't call you, I didn't call you a number. <laughs> that would have made me feel like you were a prisoner or something. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna give it a quick dry. Hi, hey, Marianne. So I think I have somebody from either Norway or Sweden here. I'm not sure. Uh, sounds like a Norwegian name. Is that right? Okay, uh, now that I have everything dry, I can paint over all these lines, right? So that's why it's important to dry things, guys. And I'm gonna come in with like this kind of wide pencil, oh, pen. I keep calling them pen these pencils because that's the Norwegian word for it. A brush, paintbrush in Norwegian is called pencil. And I'm just getting mixed up. Um, okay, um, I think I want to bring in Titan Buff. This used to be my favorite one of my favorite colors, and I haven't, it, look, it's been so long since I used it, I can hardly open it. I used to love this color. This uh, Titan Buff and Payne's Gray were my two favorite colors in the whole world before it used to be. I used to love them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my brush. 
No, I'm not like dripping wet or soaking wet or anything, but I'm going to wet it a bit and I'm going to put some of that a bit wetter than that. I just wet like the tip of it and then I just pull the paint into it. <laughs> so, bra, Mariam. Nariga, abra. Let's go with that. All right, let's go here and just I just start painting over it. Painting over all the stuff that I just made underneath there. And that kind of pushes some of it back, right? And I'm coming in with more and more of the Titan buff as I work. And I think I'm going to say that's good. Oh, I like the Titan buff with that. Well, that doesn't look too bad, actually. <laughs> Not that I thought it was going to look like horrible or anything, but uh, I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. All right, I'm going to try this blue and the white. And I should actually put some black in there because then that just... Uh, makes it like grayish yeah i like that make it a bit darker there we go all right now i'm going to come back in with this watercolor brush of mine and see if i can have some fun with that And then some of the clear blue. Well, clear and clear, it's not really clear actually, because I put a whole bunch of other colors in there. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a really uh, unsaturated color actually. Um, I kind of like it though. Now I'm just trying to concentrate on getting some variation on my in my lines, I guess. Let's see. How about some charcoal or what should I use? Hmm, let me see what I have in here. Hmm. And I can pull out colors that I don't have in here too, you know. I mean, I'm not, when I paint, I don't like to, like, have to follow all the rules. So <laughs> I like breaking the rules. And I have a kind of good way to do that too. Uh, I, something I'm going to put in my class that I'm making. And um, if I get things done fast enough, I'm going to start one of my English class too as well. <laughs> but it takes time, guys. And I'm just going to make these marks, right? This can, It's so weird because I kind of feel like there's a shift going on with me, like I'm changing. So I'm really excited to see what like 2022 has in store for me with my art. All right, leave it at that. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> All right, let's come in with some of these too. Maybe we should put some of the pink in here, the hot pink, just to get, I don't know, just to lift it up a bit, see what happens. Yeah. And um, how about the purple? I think I'll just use the purple, um, but I don't know where. Oh, that's a water-soluble. 
I thought that was a, <laughs> I thought that was a soft pastel and it's a water soluble. But that's all right. Doesn't matter. All right. Um, I'm going to put some gesso down. Tiny, tiny bit. Sometimes when I paint for you guys, it's like I don't even <laughs> know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like, oh my God, do I even know where this is going or what's going to happen? And I don't. Thanks, Linda. I agree. R rules are supposed to be broken, at least in art. <laughs> they are. So I'm just going to pull some of that purple out with the gesso because the gesso is a bit translucent. So yeah, I like it. I love gesso, at least on paper I do. All right, let's see what else we can do here. I used to have that thin, thin brush, where did that go? So that is, let's see. Um, I wanna do something down here. Uh, I don't know, I like, I think I like the turquoise with the, the red iron oxide. It kind of breaks it up a bit. Um, sound it up here too. And I'm going to try and calm down things a bit because it's, it's like really crazy. Not just another mother. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you. Hey, Salem. Hi from Canada. Hello. Glad to have you here. So now we have gesso and white. <laughs> That's how you have things work when you're a sloppy artist like me. Let's see if we can calm stuff down a bit. Some of that in here too. So I'm just trying to fill in those gaps, like at least for now. Cause that's what my body's just telling me to do or wants me to do, I guess. So I just listen. All right, let's see how um, this looks. If I bring more of that um, tight and buff in. Tiny bit more. Ah, oh, that's good, Salem. I'm glad you can hear me. Hi, Jeanette. How nice to see you. I'm so glad so many people are showing up. This is fun. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm coming back in with some of that Titan buff again. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Because I really, really don't know what I'm doing, guys. This is kind of new to me, what I'm doing now. This is not like something I do every day. And it's kind of risky because I could end up like messing things up. And that's okay because that's it's my journal. And the worst that can happen is that you guys get uh, <laughs> uh, see me make something that doesn't work. And yeah, well, then you get to see that too, I guess. And you have seen that already, so it wouldn't be anything new. All right, I'm just trying to push some of that back there. Uh, I'm going to dry it a bit again. And then I think I'm going to come in with that pink over there.
All right, get another paintbrush. Just get this fat thing here. Uh, some more on it. And I want to try and bring some blue in. Hi, Lorelei. Glad you made it. You see a, st a stick guy in, <laughs> in the center? I don't see him. Maybe I painted over him already. Hi, Angela, Lorelei. Idola, is that your name? Idola? Hi, nice to see you. Oh, there's so many new faces here today. Wow. All right, I'm going to try and bring some of this blue in here. And it's a bit scary because uh, it's a dark color. So I'm just going to try a bit of it and see how it works. Uh, I think it's working pretty good. Use my finger. That doesn't make it too chaotic. Yeah, I like that. But maybe I shouldn't have it on both sides. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just uh, calm it down a bit somehow. On this side. Don't know where to put things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure here actually. Maybe I should bring in more of that nice green. I love this color. I gotta make that again. Could I break uh, things up by bringing some of the green over here? Yeah, that's two alike, so I'll just pull it down and make it look like one piece, I guess. Hmm. So every time yeah, you try something new, you have like this uh, resistance inside you, right? And a lot of us, I know I did anyhow, I used to think of that as something really negative. But when you start to think about it, it's actually a really positive thing, right? Because that means that you're learning stuff. So um, it's a good thing. So now I'm just coming in with that iron, red iron oxide to try and... Uh, Bring some of that back just because I felt like it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it too, but it's like I'm not sure that. Uh, this is what I want, or I don't know what to do. Cause as I said, this is like new for me too. So I'm just going with what I feel and what I, you know, what my body is telling me at any moment. It's not, it's all new. All right, how about we try and use um, a palette knife. So I'll dry it off a bit. Maybe we'll bring in some white. That's not white anymore, but. And I'm not sure how, but maybe. So you see, I'm just trying and not really getting anywhere. That's what I feel anyhow. I feel like I'm stuck.
And I also feel like I need another color in here or something. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the colors. Maybe I'll just use this actually. <laughs> you like the color palette, Angela? Yeah. Hi, Melanie. Nice to see you in Violet. Hello. Yeah, I like the marks in the background too. But it's too busy down here. Like it's too busy all over the place, actually. <laughs> and I think I need a darker value of some sort. Um, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just put. Um, put some black in here. Try and get a darker value going. I just have a wet wet cloth that I always use, but bring some more of it in here. It's like I feel like I have to darken things up or something. I'm not. Maybe I should get a thinner brush again. All right, I'm just gonna take a quick peek at the camera and see. Um, hi, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, sweetie pie. Um, hmm. Guys, this is really hard. Now you're really seeing me really like how I usually work in my journal. Because <laughs> a lot of the times when uh, I work with you guys with my journal, it's like I've done a lot of it so many times before that uh, it's easier. Uh, this is like really hard because um, I'm, I'm doing new things stuff i'm not like i'm doing the stuff that i'm used to doing and i can't seem to find balance it's like crazy it's hard crazy hard No, maybe it's the top there that I don't really like. I keep doing stuff to it, but I don't really like what's going on up there. That could be. Let me try it again. Deborah, it is hard to paint every day. 
And you know what? Once you uh, push yourself to do it, you start um, you start recognizing things that you like, and you'll do them over and over again. And when you do that, it becomes like automatic or whatever, whatever you want to call it. You just do it because you like it. And that's when your painting starts to get easier. And then it also starts to get easier to paint every day. But like doing what I'm doing now, like stuff that I don't usually do. If I was to try and sit down and do this every single day, I'd go nuts. So in the beginning, I'd like paint like maybe two, three times a week and then just keep going. And then before you know it, you're not going to want to stop painting. All right, I'm going to bring in some safe stuff. I'm going to bring in some gesso because I'm not liking the stuff that's going on up here. And I have to see if I can find a brayer now because I only have that gigantic brayer. I have no idea what I did with my other one. All right, I have more over here, so I just have to leave them on. Oh, it's better anyhow. It's not not as big as the last one. <laughs> All right, let's try and see if we can uh, calm some stuff down with the gesso. I love gesso. Look at that. Oh, gesso saves the day every time. Oh, I like it. Yeah. You see? Doing some stuff that you used to makes things better. It almost happens every time. Get a clean brush. And I'm going to pull some of that white down. Maybe here too. Just pull some of it down carefully. See if I can just calm things down a bit. Hey, I like that. I love the way that, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that actually. I'm gonna try and lift it up and see if you can see the texture in the gesso you see that and um, that's one of the things i love about gesso all right a quick dry again so that the gesso doesn't get pulled everywhere <laughs> Uh, hot gun gets so hot that I don't know where to put it half the time. <laughs> Laura, that's too funny. I know, I know the feeling. I've been watching uh, videos too with other people, and uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I didn't like it, so I had to do something. I like it better now. I do, I like it a lot better, but it still needs more of the dark values. I have a darker value here and I have a bit here, but I feel like it leads like a lot more. Um, and these are helping a bit on that side, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if I should come in with the blue or, uh, 
And then maybe I should uh, come in with some more uh, of the blue on this side because I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Hey, maybe I should just get some markers. I have like a couple of markers. I could use some of them. Okay, let's see what I have here. Uh, how about some green? Green look good? Or I have even have some black pink. Um, turquoise, that's probably too much in the same color as that. Yeah, let's try some of them. The purple one. Let's see what we have here. I think I want to try the green. See how it looks first. Um, I like it with the blue. Too bad. I have like a gold color. I think that's going to be too greenish. Maybe yellow. I have every color there is in here, I think. No, I don't like that. I'll just leave it. I don't like it. All right, let's try more paint. I don't think this is going to come to any uh, end. <laughs> I don't know. This is like uh, so hard. Uh, and I'm almost nervous to come in with that like dark color over here, but I have to because I need more. I need more darkness down here. So I'm trying to be just a tiny bit careful and then I can use my finger to pull it out instead so that I don't cover up all the marks that I made. Yeah, I can see that's going to do something good to it. Values are like important. Let me see. Put more water in there. <laughs> now it just turned dark. It's like, oh, ah! I swear, I'm not going to get this right today. Now I don't like it at all. I don't like that color either. Go back to that turquoise color. This I don't like, I'm covering it up, going crazy over it. See if my hands can do a better job at it. Okay. Online strips without closing. Woohoo! That excites me, God. Really? Oh, my God, there's so many stupid people on the internet. I like the light blue. Uh, maybe it turns out a bit better, but it's not looking anything like I would like it to look. So I'm not sure what to do. So I'm open for suggestions. 
I'm just gonna, uh, can I ban people? Is there any way to do that? Uh, maybe I can't, yeah, wait. Oh, I'd love to kick this guy out of here, but I'm not sure how to. If anybody knows how to kick someone out of a live chat, let me know. Because I'd kick him out. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking, uh, Kate, more gesso. Oops, I think I need to calm it down somehow, and I'm not. It's really hard today. Or just a palette. So, Michelle, are you still here? Oh, thanks, guys. It's a pain in the neck when you get people like that in here. Yeah, I did. Grow, uh, you know, I did. I got the job at Uh Yeah, I know. Um... You probably can. I'm going to have to look into it. I like a lot of the stuff that's going on. It's just that I don't like a lot of it that's going on. So <laughs> a lot of what's going on, I don't like. <laughs> um, I like this now. I'm going to lift it up and show you because I don't think you can see the texture there either. You see the, the texture at the bottom here? I really like that. Hoover over the comment. Yeah, I tried that too. And I still, oh, I see. I think, wait. No. It just lets me pin the message. Yeah, I got him. Report, no, cancel, wait. Let me see. Remove. Bye bye. Now he's gone. All right. Um, see if I could do something to get this thing going. Still not going anywhere. Hmm. This is really wearing me out today because I'm not, not knowing what I want to do. So let me think. any more stuff in here either because that would just like make it even worse hmm this is a hard one guys and I think I'm just gonna bring some more gesso into the picture at least that gives me like a new start of some kind. Yeah, not all bad.
So I'm kind of going to try and go back to me and see if we can lift this thing a bit. Um, I'm going to go quiet on you now, huh? <laughs> That's so cute, Atala. Aww. Yeah, I'm just going to go back and try and do uh, some of me. Because if I do that, I might be able to, like, save this somehow. Um, cover some of it up and bring some of it back. I just need some dark values in here because there's not enough dark values. And I think I need to make them bigger. Some spots. Um, Now this water brush is starting to get annoying. <laughs> it's not easy to paint with water brushes. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's say that's good with the dark blue. Maybe I'll just put maybe a tiny, tiny bit somewhere else. Let's see. Um, I'll just put a tiny, tiny bit here. All right. Change my brush. to do more of me and see if I can like I don't know connect it in some way or another um, some of that light light pink that's gonna be too wet to put there Let me see. So now everything's all dark on here, so I'm not going to get anything out of the scraping like I usually do. It's too dark and it's a mess. Oh my gosh. I love the gesso at the top. It's the bottom that's the problem, right? So it's been an hour, guys. So I don't know if I'm going to keep going with this or what. 
What do you think? You think I can save it somehow? And what should I do? Mm. Let's see. I love how you don't like something you cover. <laughs> yeah, I always do that. <laughs> That's the only way to learn, right? Oh, what is this with all these guys coming in here? Okay, time out on that user and then time out on this guy. All right. Yeah, I have my fine liner, but it's like I'm not, I feel like I'm I just like, if I use my fine liner, I just feel like it's just not gonna, it's just gonna put some white down here. It's not gonna, it's not gonna save it in any way. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like save the whole painting because nothing is like, nothing's working with it. And I don't wanna, if I bring the fine liner in, then I'm just like, I don't know. It's. I just don't feel that's right. So now I'm just going to be me and forget about the rest because it's not working. All right, let's see what we can do here. I just want to bring something lighter in here. I have coke. <laughs> I have a bottle of coke that I'll have to do. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Well, anyhow, it's coming back to me a bit. Anyhow, uh, I'm just going to keep going up here too and I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, see if I can keep this going because <laughs> that whatever it was was not me and it and as I said it's like I'm feeling like there's a big change coming in my art and I just it's not there yet all right let's see what we can do with this mm. give me some more of that uh here let's see I want some green in it too. That's all right. Now I'm really getting back into me because now I'm not even changing my paintbrush. <laughs> uh, nah. Where is that brayer? I'm 
just trying to pick up the paint because I don't like what I just did. Um, I'm going to come in with this right on the page and uh, get myself a clean brush. A little bit too much paint there. And when I paint over the gesso, that's all right too, because that what happens is I still have that texture from uh, the gesso underneath it. And I'll come in with more. It's just that I want it gone for now. Let's see if I can bring this in here somehow. This page is so full of the paint now that it's crazy. And I think I'm just gonna give up because it's not working today. Bring them back. You guys are so patient to sit here and like watch me struggle. <laughs> my gosh oh that's so nice Lorelei you guys are so cute yes I'm cute you're sweet that's what you are um even when I struggle you're like oh yeah I love it <laughs> it's like oh my gosh <laughs> this is not working guys now I'm just gonna go crazy and see if we can uh, <laughs> change the whole thing around. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't like anything I have here now, so I might as well just go nuts. What can we do with rings? I don't even know if this is a process anymore, Lorelei. I think this is just uh, me going nuts at the moment in the hope of something uh, happening. I kind of like those rings though. But now I'm gonna take that uh, ugly Titan buff out of there. Because now I don't like it. And uh, I probably should uh, try and break it up a bit. Get rid of the Titan buff. Yeah, now I'm kind of uh, onto something maybe. I don't know. It looks better than it did, that's for sure. It really changed, huh? I'm gonna bring in that uh, brush again and see if we can make more of those circles. Make darker ones this time.
I've been into circles for so long that I just like feel really at home with circles. I don't know. I've been hooked on circles for ages. Let's do lighter ones. Does this look crazy or what? <laughs> Oh gosh, that looks crazy. And now I just feel like going in between them with the brush. Let me see if I can find a brush I can do it with. Um, maybe that's too thin. One of these maybe. Uh, and I want some of that. Pink. Maybe bring some of it over here too. What do you think? Should I bring some of the pink over here or is it good just on that one side? Maybe it's good just the one side. Yeah, it's not that bad. I, I kind of like that. Hmm, but this is boring, isn't it? What should I do here? It's boring. Should I just pull the circles over it or should I try to do something else? That's too dark. Um, I even have my hair in the paint now. Or maybe I should just pull the blue up. I wonder, maybe I should just pull that blue up a bit, like the blue green. Isn't that about the same color? Ah, that's Hempus at Marianne. So Marianne said that I may change and change uh, chains mean that we're all one. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I like that. I'm going to try and pull the green up a bit. And then see what it looks like. Some of the green and then put some of the white back into it. Mm -hmm. Work with my finger because that's easier. Wet fingers. I like it when I pull the green up a bit. Maybe I could pull it up even more. I'll just go at it with my fingers again. Oh, that was blue. I wanted white. That's better, but
yeah, maybe the pink needs to come further out. I'm feeling it's like squished into the side there. Maybe we'll try and bring that a bit further out. That's too dark. Yeah, that's probably good. Now watch me think the whole thing should be pink. <laughs> That's like me. Uh, I start one thing and then, oh no, I think the whole thing needs to be pink. I think that's better, but it's still not right. But I think I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm getting uh, pissed with this page <laughs> to tell you, the, to be honest with you. Um, Uh, all right, Annie, I'll see you. Yeah, I like that. Um, I just did something uh, other than what I was doing because it wasn't going anywhere. But it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. But okay. Yeah. I mean, that's the way things are. You can't, uh, you can't make things happen the first time you try them and you have to do them over and over again. But let's see, right smack in the middle, it looks like a robot hand in a pincer. <laughs> really? I love the way you see that. I can't see anything. I just see a whole bunch of circles. And I'm just gonna leave it like this, uh, guys. And maybe next time I'll uh, have been uh, doing this more and we'll see what happens uh, if, if it goes anywhere or I don't know. Next time I might not even want to be in the mood to do something that I usually don't do. I don't know. I was just really stressed today with the traffic and the snow. But yeah, I like the colors. I like the way the colors turned down. I do live workshops at all. Um, I'm doing one this weekend. And I'm also making uh, an online class, but that's in Norwegian. The first one is, and I'm going to make one in English too, but that probably won't be finished until, I don't know, late fall maybe. I, um, I run a company, a web design company with two other people. So <clears throat> I have like a full-time job next to my painting, so. Uh, thanks, Linda. Bare hyggelig, Marianne. Takk for at du kom. Yeah. Well, anyhow, I still enjoy being here with you guys, as always. Oh, you're so sweet, Lorelei. Thank you. What do you mean, it'll over the summer? I have lots of plans over the summer. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Thanks for coming. Ah, oh, thanks, Marie. Glad to have you here. And all you new guys, it's been so fun seeing new faces here today. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to, Jeanette. I want to do it like, I want to make it good for you guys too. I don't want it to be like a voiceover. Because a lot of a lot of the stuff that happens is really spontaneous. And anyhow, I want to do new paintings for that class. And then maybe some of my Norwegian uh, uh, buyers might be interested in taking the English class too, for all I know. Oh, you're so sweet, Adela. Thank you. Yeah, summer work. I was thinking of having a week, uh, one that lasts. Well, not a week, but from maybe Thursday until Sunday. And yeah, we're going to do a Zoom meeting. Uh, if you want to join that, you just sign up for my newsletter. It'll, uh, and I'm going to try and make 
uh, room for a Zoom meeting for all of us so that we can like say hi to each other and have our cams on if we want to. And that would be so much fun. You're so welcome, Violet. Thank you for coming. Oh, that would be, <laughs> that would be fun. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for coming and supporting me as you always do. It means the world to me. All right. I'll see you again on Tuesday. And uh, maybe the process will be a, a bit easier then. <laughs> oh, you're, you're more than welcome, Marie. Maybe I, if I have enough people coming in, we could do like an English one. But so... If you're interested in coming to Norway for a class, let me know and I could try and put one up in English. Of course, all my classes in Norway are Norwegian. Not that that would be a problem, but it would be easier for you if we could just do one in English. Yes, I did, Linda. So everything's good there. All right, I'm gonna say good night and I'll see you again next Tuesday. I love you all to bits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they have, that's so nice, Marie. You, you're welcome and to come here anytime. Just, uh, let me know what part of Norway you want to uh, come to and you can check it out. Check my uh, Norwegian website out. It's my name uh, dot no and you can just check out my uh, my uh, classes. All right, Linda. Thank you. See you next week. Bye guys. See you.